Hey guys, in this video we are taking a closer look at the DeskPy Lite M.2 case for the Raspberry Pi 4. This case can transform your Raspberry Pi 4 into a mini desktop PC and has some cool features like SSD support, a great cooling fan and much more. So let's dive into the unboxing. It comes in this box packaging, on the top we have user slash installation manual. Next we have the case itself. It is made of high quality plastic and has a sleek minimalistic design. Now as we open it up we have lot of things inside here that I'll show you one by one. First up we have this really nice CPU fan that is completely made of aluminium. Next we have some screws for installing the board, some thermal pads and the main board itself. Additionally, here we have another PCB board with the M.2 slot on it. Keep in mind it's for M.2 SATA SSD not for NVMe. Finally, we have the top and the bottom part of the case. Okay, so here we have all the parts ready and we can move on to the installation process. It's super simple and pretty much anyone can do it by following the given instructions on the installation manual. Ok, so we are almost done with the assembly and here we have the option to add an SSD. I don't have at this moment so I'll skip that step for now. Finally guys, we are done with the assembly process and it really looks like a mini PC. Talking about the ports, on the front we got a micro SD card slot, a power indication, two USB 2.0 ports and a power switch. Here on the left we can still access the GPIO pins for all your projects. Turning around the back we have USB type C for the power input, two full size HDMI ports, a headphone jack and all the ports that Raspberry Pi offers like two USB 2.0 ports. Now we left with only one USB 3.0 because another one is used for the SSD. And lastly we have the LAN connectivity. That's pretty much about it. Now let's install the micro SD card along with the OS and see how it works. Ok, so as you can see I have set up everything and it's working just fine. You have to do some additional settings in the OS to use all the features that this case provides you like the front USB ports and the CPU fan. Now I will show you how to set up the CPU fan. There are two ways to do that. If you look on the main board there is a small switch for the CPU fan. If you set it to E that is enable, the fan will always turn on. If you disable it, then you will need to set it up from the operating system. First open the terminal, here we need to enter a command sudo respy config. Next navigate to the performance option and select fan. It will ask would you like to turn on CPU fan temperature control, choose yes. Here you will need to specify the GPIO pin which is 14 in this case. Now set up the temperature threshold, I recommend setting it to 60 degrees celsius. Once you have done that, click ok. 
and that's it. The fan will automatically turn on when the CPU temperature reaches 60 degrees Celsius. Personally, I really like this case and it can be a great choice if you want to overclock your Raspberry Pi 4 because this cooling fan does the job really well. It gives a sleek and minimalistic look to your Raspberry Pi along with the SSD support and it comes at a budget friendly and affordable price. It's definitely worth giving it a try. Links are in the description box so make sure to check it out. That's pretty much for today. If you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment with your thoughts and ideas on this case. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.